Hello, my name is Dylan. Welcome to the Omni Geometry program. And today we're doing a tutorial on creating Metatron's cube. Let's begin. Starting a new scene. Okay. So to begin with, we're going to create the circles in the background. So I like to start with a radius of 60. We can leave the recursion depth on 1 and number of points on 3. Zoom in a little. And we turn on points and base points. Remove lines and base. There we go. I like to keep the line weight on fixed so that all of these circles are pretty much the same. Simply copy this layer. And in angle, we're going to flip it 180 degrees. There we go. That's the background circles of Metatron's cube. Now there's an alternative way to do this, which I'll show you as well. So this is to do it in two layers. I'll delete those. And now let's do it in three layers. So for this one, again, keeping that radius at 60, Recursion depth stays on one. Number of points, we're going to take that down to two to get a straight line. And removing lines and base and turning on points. There we go, you can see that now. I like to keep it on fixed line weight. Let's copy it three times. And Now we're going to change the angle of one of these to 60 degrees and the other one to minus 60 degrees or alternatively 300 degrees. There we go. That is the background circles. I'm going to change the color of this to hang out in the background. Okay, now we're going to do the lines. We're going to begin with the inner cube. So for this, all cubes need six points. I'm going to return recursion off. And those points aren't lining up correctly because this radius needs to be on 60. There we go. Going to turn on Origio lines and we have a cube. Let's copy that. And we're going to double the radius now from 60 to 120. And there is the outer cube. So as you can see, this forms a two dimensional tesseract or a cube within a cube. Now we need to do the same thing for the triangular portion of this, or the tetrahedrons. So I'll copy that cube, actually. I'll copy it, and I'm going to hide these for now. Okay, so simply, we change six points down to three, and we get the tetrahedron. I'm going to copy that and flip it 180 degrees, which creates the star tetrahedron. That's the inner one. Let's copy them. And while they're both still highlighted, change the radius to double. There we go. The outer star tetrahedron. Bring these back to being visible. There you go, so that is a simple Metatron's cube, but it's not entirely complete yet. So there's an extra step that we can do to complete this properly. So to demonstrate, these circles, each circle needs to touch the center point of every other one. So this top circle has five lines currently coming out of it. It's touching these two, 
these three, these five, these three, and these two. But there are two circle center points that it is not touching, and that's this one here and this one here. So the end result will have seven lines coming out from the center. So let's do that now. I'm going to copy one of these tetrahedrons, bring it to the top. Now we're going to be working with the star and star radius parameters. I'm going to change just for visibility, the color of this. So you can see what happens. I'm going to turn off Origio lines so that we just have a triangle. Let's turn on star. Yes, you can see that those angles are starting to change, but it is not touching, it's not crossing through the center of this circle yet. So we change the star radius to negative what the inner radius was. So we were working with 60 before. This is going to be minus 60. There we go. And look at that perfectly. This line crossing through and touching the center of this circle. And it goes around and does half of those. So to complete it, we just copy that and flip it 180 degrees again. And there we go. That is the completed Metatron's cube. I'll just return it all to white so that you can see there we go. Metatron's cube. Now there's an extra little step that you can do if you don't want those little spikes pointing out there. I'm just going to highlight everything and we're going to change in drawing we're going to change the line joins from square to round and that just takes off those little sharp edges there great all done so this really shows us the power of omni geometry of this program how quick it is to form complex geometries like this, which would, <laughs> I've tried it before in other video, sorry, other photo editing programs, and <laughs> it just takes forever, just takes forever. Look how fast this was. Great. Well, I hope that this helps you to also create Metatron's cube in Omni Geometry. And yeah, then you can play around with this stuff. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Have a great day. Much love.